Hey all, this is part 7, and it's the last part of the if-else statements, so congratulations. We are going to complete a function that takes in one parameter, an object containing the fruit totals for a project, and determines whether the listed total for bananas is greater than 3, and the listed total for strawberries is greater than 10, and returns a specific string for each case. Now, of course, we don't mean each case in terms of there are four cases, um, you know, two each for, you know, bananas being too high or too low, and for strawberries being too high or too low. Um, so, but we're just talking about if else. So because it's and, there's going to be one case where they're both the appropriate total, and the other case is that they are not the appropriate totals. Uh, so your function should use an if else statement to determine if the totals of bananas and strawberries are sufficient, and if they are, should return the string, we have enough fruit with total bananas, bananas, and total strawberries, strawberries, where total bananas and total, total strawberries are the numbers of each fruit in the fruit totals object. If they are not, your function should return the string, we do not have enough of both fruits. Below are examples of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, measure required fruit. So let's copy our function stub. Let's grab our test cases, and there are five this time. if there are more than three bananas and more than 10 strawberries. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create two variables. I'm going to say total banana and total strawberry. And then I'm going to assign those to be fruit totals dot bananas. And I say dot because I know the exact name of the key that I'm looking for, and it's a one word string. And strawberries. And all this is going to do is mean that I don't have to keep saying fruit totals dot bananas or fruit totals dot strawberries. And instead, I'm just going to have to say uh, total bananas, total strawberry, which is a little bit more efficient. So with that, let's wrap our if statement. Okay, so there needs to be more than three bananas, so total banana needs to be greater than three, and total straw berry needs to be greater than ten. In the event that those are both true, we're going to return we have enough fruit with space plus total banana plus bananas, comma, and and then a space here, plus total straw berry. You might as well just call it total strawberries and total bananas, given that that's the way that it was described in the function, or in the pseudocode. So let's say total strawberries and total bananas, uh, plus a space after the total number of strawberries, and then strawberries. Excellent. And if those are not true, I mean, we don't have enough of one or both or of the fruit. We're going to say we do not have enough of both fruits. Uh, there we go. So if we run this, let's see if we get something close to what we want. Total banana is not defined, probably because I never changed it in one of the places. Bananas and then strawberries, which we decided to change just because this is how it was listed in the pseudocode. But again, it doesn't really matter. It's more about a consistent convention than it is uh, choosing one way or the other. So if we run this, all right, let's have a look at this. Uh, should log we have enough fruit with four bananas and 12 strawberries, and it does. Should log we have enough fruit with five bananas and 15 strawberries, and we do. And then we do not have enough of both fruits for all three of the remaining failure cases. Looking good. Let's copy this paste it in the input window, and our shape is good. Excellent work, y'all. Thanks for watching. In the next lesson, we're going to go over if, else, if statements, which this will be changed because I noticed it's an error, but I already changed it. Uh, so, yep, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.